Bob 94.9. We are back with Jeanette McCurdy. Hello. She plays Sam on Hi, iCarly. Hello. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> so uh, we were talking, obviously, a lot about the iCarly show. I mean, you got to realize, I'm sure that's where most people are going to know you from. Right. What? Um, as far as your music career, is, is that something that is going to be uh, a challenge for you to separate the two? Do you want to separate the two? Uh, you know, I kind of, I definitely want to keep them both separate because to me, music something that um, that I've loved for so long and it's played such a big part in, in my life. I mean, since I've been really young, I would I would write uh, lyrics in, in, in a notebook and make melodies and record them on a tape recorder. So that's been since I was like seven. And for that to have played a part so long, I don't want it to be something that meshes or, or for people to go like, oh, she's just on a, on a show, so she's, you know, like mm-hmm. every other person who is on a show and, right. and does music uh, i definitely want to want to do this i'm in it for the long haul right right well it's kind of hopefully you know almost like a retirement plan for you <laughs> <laughs> so is there anybody in nashville that you've met that you've just gone oh you know who i, who I, ne- I nearly i mean i almost could not keep it in is keith urban he's my all-time favorite artist <laughs> ever of whatever anything i'm we hitting so the mic i'm so excited <laughs> and um I, I had met him very briefly two times before and then this time was at the acms and I'd totally girmed him. I mean, both times. I was like, oh, yes! oh my gosh. And then this time I was able to kind of keep it in a little bit more and, you know, enjoy his delicious smell. Not to get weird, but um, I was just staring into his dreamy eyes for like 10 minutes talking to him and getting advice on music. And he ends with, a, hey, would you help me find my wife? And I go, I'm right here. Oh, nice. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Very nice. He didn't buy it. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty smooth. You have to watch him. We but how walk cool. out hand in hand or anything. <laughs> you're, you're on the same record label as he is now, so you guys yeah. are label mates. That, Nicole that's better watch her crazy. back. No. I know. I figure I'll go I'll go in through babysitting little Sunday. Oh, right? No, right? I, can't I just don't, told don't. my plan out loud. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be watching out for Keith now. You're not a home wrecker. I don't want to hear <laughs> no, that. No, I never would. I never would. But Nicole Kidman's awesome. But 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 think about a duet. Have you thought about that? This is this is what comes to mind. <gasps> <laughs> just kind of, you know, deflate into a little puddle on the floor. No, you'd be able to pull it together, wouldn't you? Don't uh, you think? If, if yes, <laughs> I would manage. I, I, I actually saw um, just flipping through some videos and just looking yeah. around. I saw you singing in color with Darius Rucker. Yeah, that was crazy. Wow. Darius is one of the coolest people I think <sighs> um, we love him. I've ever met. He's so, you know, he's so, isn't he so down to earth? Yeah. And, He's just got this great genuineness about him and yeah. no Laugh. ego. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that twinkle, he's got that perpetual oh, twinkle in his eyes. He does. And when he's on stage and does that little dance. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And he's also one of these people that always impresses me. I mean, for whatever reason, it seems like the people on, on Capitol Records seem to do this. Darius does it. Uh, Dirks does it. They they Dirks just they remember great. everybody. Yeah. yeah. It's insane. It's almost like they've got yeah. some kind of a Rolodex in their brain that, that, with a picture t- ID yeah. next to the, to the name. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, and, and I think that one thing that we all really appreciate, and you probably you know this because you've been around long enough in your in your short life is that if you just make people feel special when you see them you might not remember their name oh, yeah. but as long as you look them in the eye hey how have you been it's good yeah. to see yeah. you you know exactly. not everybody remembers everybody's name yeah most people will be good enough to say hi i'm nancy we met in wherever right it's sort of jog your memory but you right. meet so many people but you know i think we all appreciate when somebody yeah you, you get a flicker of uh, they sort of remember yeah me. you don't you know? want it to be like that um i don't know things can get so awkward if it's you know, yeah, somebody, you just say, hey, yeah. it's good to see you. Yeah, you know? exactly. And then we all believe you remember us. And, but the one, I think the important thing not to do is the, hey, you, like the <laughs> question mark yeah. at the end. Right. That's the worst. People have done that to me before. I'm like, it's Jeanette. <laughs> Jeanette McCurdy is who we're talking to. Uh, tell us about the single. Um, this song is called Not That Far Away. Um, it's a song that I co-wrote and... I was just sitting around my with my fellow writers and um, talking about everything and, you know, being out like on a radio tour now and, and all that I'm going to have to be away from my mom a lot, all that yeah. I'm going to have to be doing. And my mom's my best friend, so it's difficult to be away from her like that. I talk to her all the time, though, and call her every night. And um, and I guess this song was just kind of birthed from me talking about that and, and saying how I really wanted a song specifically for my mom and something that she could listen to and know that it was her song. <laughs> Is she here with you on the tour now? No, she's, no. she's not able to. She's not... Um, She's also she's not able to travel oh. with me. Is she in Seattle? Um, no, we 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 it takes place in Seattle. I okay. just went to Seattle for the first time, but we actually shoot in Hollywood. Um, but I live way far out in Garden Grove, so it's a long drive. I read somewhere that uh, you heard your song on the radio for the first time and called your mom from the studio and said, "Hey, we can listen together." Yes, Is I that did. True? Yeah, I, I had my phone out and um, it's <laughs> just the mama on the phone, and I was with everybody here. We were actually out on this radio tour and. Um, it was so exciting. I just, I could not believe it. Well, you don't have your phone with you now, but we do have the single. Yes. So we're going to play it again. <laughs> Jeanette two. McCurdy. It's on Bob 94.9. Thanks, guys. Not that far away. That's-
it's Jeanette McCurdy, Yay. brand new music. Thanks for playing nice. it. That's so hey, exciting for me. You're welcome. Oh my gosh. You're welcome. I can't believe it. I overheard you say that nobody in your family calls you Jeanette, though. What do no, you call her? No, everybody in my whole family calls me Nettie, always. Nettie? Nettie. Yeah. That's my mom actually cool. spelled my name J-E-N-N, no J-E-A, J-E-N-N-E-T-T-E, mm-hmm. so that I would be nicknamed Jen. And then it didn't matter because it was Nettie, so she could have spelled it the regular way anyways. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, are you going to be out on tour with anybody? I mean, I know you have iCarly to go back to. Yeah, and... no, we're actually only, we're going back to iCarly for 13 episodes, so it'll be a real quick run. I'll okay. be done with that in like two and a half months. And then I'll be going out on a tour. There's been some exciting talk. I don't think I could say anything for sure yet, but I, I can't, absolutely can't wait. You don't can, know how excited I am. Can you give us initials? Can, um... <laughs> could, you, could you whisper it in my ear? Could you whisper it in my ear? I no, promise I won't say it. Thank don't you. Don't tell her. Don't. I can, no, I can, so excuse me. I can keep a secret, mister. <laughs> I, I can keep a secret. No, that's okay. We're excited for you. I mean, Thank it's just you. nice to know that you've got something brewing and we'll yeah. be able to see you out on the road. I am so excited. I hope you'll come see. Absolutely. And, well, I, and I will not pull a, hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> I do that to her sometimes. We've been together almost 10 years. Yeah. So it's because yeah. you, you drink a lot. It's true. Okay. <laughs> and next time you uh, turn 21, because I know you're only 17 The next time you turn 21. <laughs> yeah. women turn 21. I've turned 21 like four times already, actually. <laughs> women do that. I'm 37 in my life. <laughs> When you turn 21, you'll have to come back and see us again because we usually start the interview with a shot. Okay. And we let it go can this time. I'll just have ice cream. That's fine. We can I'll do that. I'll have like a shot of ice cream. A shot of ice cream. That's what we'll do next time. <laughs> Not a problem. Uh, MySpace, Facebook, how do your fans get a hold of you? Uh, yeah, I've got, a, I've got MySpace.com slash Jeanette McCurdy, Facebook.com slash Jeanette McCurdy, and Twitter. You're easy and to then, find. And um, then YouTube yeah. slash me be Jeanette. YouTube slash me be Jeanette. Yeah, change that one up a little. Very good. good it's good that you can remember that, though. My first name will now be Mebe. So <laughs> if you want to contact me, it rhymes with Phoebe. Me. Jeanette McCurdy, <laughs> our guest. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thanks so much, guys. Hang on. Nancy and Newman return in just minutes on Bob 94.9.